Individual artists draw imagery according to their own aesthetic. Here we show a series of teacup images drawn in a variety of styles. This video presents a system that allows a designer to annotate such styles onto a 3D model. The key idea is that it allows the artist to stylize the underlying model by drawing directly on it. Our system works best when the artist uses a tablet interface to control the pointer. The user interface provides a myriad of controls for paper and brush qualities, for example size, shape, color, and opacity. We also have a large collection of pre-configured settings. Our system provides a number of ways to annotate the model using drawing strokes. First, we show applying stylization to silhouettes. While our system is fully interactive, several of the sequences here have been accelerated for brevity. The artist simply provides an example stroke and the system applies it to all the silhouettes. It's easy to explore several different styles. The system attempts to maintain temporal coherence for silhouettes. Notice the difference with silhouette tracking turned off and then turned back on. We annotate creases in a similar way. By default, stylization is applied to a single crease. However, as with silhouettes, the same stylization may be repeated for convenience over all creases. We call this rubber stamping. As an alternative, the artist may supply a few example strokes and the system can automatically synthesize detail over the remaining creases. This avoids the repetitive look of rubber stamping. To preserve stroke density, structured hatching automatically varies the number of strokes as the camera zooms. Notice as the object comes closer, small strokes grow between existing ones. It's simple to insert or remove strokes because they're all roughly parallel. In contrast, using free hatching, the artist may draw strokes in any orientation. In this case, the system cannot automatically generate new levels of detail. Instead, the artist draws all levels of detail and the system automatically transitions between them. Notice in this example that the artist used free hatching to specify several different levels of detail for the eye. Our system also provides a form of hatching that is not fixed to a single position on the model. This mobile hatching moves across the surface relative to a fixed light source. Here we have dark strokes representing a shadow. A few white strokes suggest a highlight. The same simple mechanism is used for both light and dark strokes. Finally, we show several example scenes rendered with our system. In this example, wide silhouette strokes and a subtle tune shader are rendered over a coarse paper texture. By changing the background paper and replacing the tune shader with a few decal strokes, the artist gives this statue a look inspired by a Greek vase. This breakfast scene reveals a few level of detail effects. This bust is rendered using only silhouettes and sketchy decal strokes. Although the geometry of this model is quite simple, stylized rendering adds richness to the scene. A tune shader and mobile hatching suggest lighting on the snowman, decal strokes depict a face, and uneven blue crayon silhouettes imply bumpy snow. The trees are annotated with crayon silhouettes, plus two layers of mobile hatching. Our system also supports stylized rendering of animated models. In this example, the character was modeled and animated using commercial software. Next, an artist annotated the model with stylized effects in our system, and then the frames were rendered offline. Our final example is this still life, which reveals many of the effects previously described. In summary, our system provides designers with effective controls to apply their own styles to interactive renderings of 3D scenes.